All right, I'm gonna show you today how to rank a table of data using the tile tool. Uh, to start, we're just going to uh, input in the data manually. Uh, to do that, I created a table already in, in Excel. It's just uh, a column of regions, a column of countries, and then some arbitrary values that will be necessary for us to rank off of, but mean nothing uh, by themselves. So we go back to the text input tool, we paste in the values, and then we upgrade the first row into headers, we delete the rows. Um, we could have done this all in Alteryx, of course, but for such a small data set and for such a small ask, it's just as easy to just do it manually. So, so here's our starting data, like I said before, regions, countries, values, okay? So um, how do you use it? Well, let's start by using the, the tile tool itself. The tile tool itself is kind of um, tricky because if you look at the tile methods, they're not super intuitive. So I'll just go over each one very briefly, but equal sum is basically you compare um, your different values to a sum column. And if they equal that column, then they belong in a tile of their own. Equal records is pretty dumb as well. You basically give it a number and it'll split. It'll split your data into those groups. So if I decide to split into three groups like this, uh, the results will be, it will give, um, it'll split my values into three separate groups. You see here, one, two, three, okay. Now, if you have an uneven or undivisible number, uh, va uh, number of values uh, to the number of tiles you, se you selected, uh, what it's gonna do is kinda kinda go through iteratively. So if it can evenly, well, let's, let's go specifically. So I wanna divide by three, I've got 10, 10 values. So what Alteryx will do is it will first go to the nearest divisible number. So it says, okay, I know that at least everything can be divided by three. So I'll give it one, two, three and rank it that way. And then once it goes in the, the odd numbers, it starts back up to the very top and gives, gives that value um, a new slot. So if you see here, the top four have four slots and the, the following have three. Well, if this was 11, two would have one more slot and the three would have three. And then likewise, if this was 12, three would then fill in. And then if it was 14, then one, the first five will fill in as, as tile number one and so on and so forth. The tile sequence number is another way to look at it. Like it'll prioritize the, the ones at the top. So um, to that point, one thing I should mention is when you're using the tiling um, tool, it is super paramount to use the sort tool with it because it bases its logic off of the, the order that the data is coming in. Um, some some tile methods will take that into account, um, but most of the time you need to sort ahead of time, okay? So that's equal records. It's a way of grouping things equally into batches based off of a value field. Smart tile is based off standard deviation based on the average of that tile. So um, there's that, I don't wanna to get too much into it. Unique value is how we will be doing ranking. Um, basically you tell it which column to look at and based on each unique value, it will give it a tile or, and sequence number which is effectively a rank. And then lastly, there's manual. Manual is kind of cool, it's the same idea. You tell it to break it into tiles, but you set thresholds for um, kind of where you want to break the uh, break the value, uh, the rows into tiles. And so in this case right now, manual set to 100, 200, 300. So anything um, between zero and 100 will be tile one. Anything between 100 and 200 will be tile two, and then so on and so forth. So if I were to run this now, it would most likely put everything under tile one. And let's try that. Oh, actually, did I even? Yeah, it has value. So yeah, see here, tile, everything is under tile one because the cutoff is at 100, okay? So that's not what we wanna do. We wanna uh, rank. So all you have to do is go to unique value and you have to tell it um, which, what is, the, what is the unique column that you wanna rank it off of, okay? Um, in our case, it's gonna be the value, right? So we do value and we, we run it. And that's really about it. You know, if you look at it here, uh, it is now, okay, well, no, no. So this is this is where you kind of go and kind of play with the idea of ranking. So right now, based off of the order, it is ranking one, two, three, or five, six. It does not actually parse through this per se. It's kind of stupid. It can only parse through the information in batches of groups, okay? And also it recognizes if it's the same thing. So here 37 is the same, so it groups it under tile number two, okay? But if you look at the values themselves, you can see that it's kind of, um, it's it's sorted in ascending order. And if you want to rank, typically you want the highest number on top. So what we can do here is we can just add a sort field in here. All right, how many minutes? At Four minutes, okay, I can make this faster. You add a sort field in here and then you, you sort the way you want it to be moved. Um, that should fix it. So, so the data coming in is all random. I now have told it to sort it based on highest value to lowest. 
and then if you apply the same logic unique value now it should oh um, oh, oh okay okay this is also another common mistake okay so if you look here it should be sorted right but as you can see it's not the reason why is because this isn't left unchecked so it is automatically taking the values and the the tile tool is automatically sorting that value first and then ranking it so by default, it sorts by ascending order. So if you see here, it automatically sorts it by lowest to highest, and then it ranks it. But because we've already ranked it the way we want, and it's not in ascending order, what we do is we click leave unsorted, and if you run it, then it should work. So if you see here, perfect, 64 to 36, descending order like it came in, and then the numbering is correct, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, one thing you might ask is, uh, well, well, I don't, I don't know how you get around it. Um, Oh, well, no, I, I think there might be a logic. Uh, how would we break these twos, for example? Um, you'd have to give it some other logic. You have to tell it to look at group or country, and that's how you could break it up into one, two, th a true one, two, three, or five, six, assuming you have enough unique values to truly give each row a distinct character, okay? But um, in absence of that, and I'll show you in a quick second uh, how to create this uh, true ranking where everyone has a unique, unique value. But in absence of that, um, it ranks it as ordered, so this is the highest number because the next two, second and third number is 61. They both take up the, the, the two spot. And then the third one will, will be three, four, and so on and so forth. And so if you notice here, um, it you know there's a lot of ways you can approach ranking. One might argue that you know row number four should truly be four because two and three kind of share the second spot, but one will by default be the third spot. So um, just keep that in mind that it it will it will rank absolutely based off of different values, okay? Um, and then here, the tile sequence number tells you the distinction between each tile. So within these two, um, it is saying that this one is first, this row number two is first, and then row number three is second. And does it based off of just the, the order ranking that you send it into. Um, so yeah. Now, uh, what if you want to consider other groups? Well, you just click on it. So let's just say I want the ranking of, um, well, no, that's not true. Once again, tile is kind of stupid. It only takes in how things are ordered. So let's just say I wanted to rank things based off of group and value. Well, I have to take a step back and actually do it here, okay? So I need to actually now add group in here and do it the way I want. So I'm just gonna arbitrarily choose ascending. Uh, that's the default value. I'm gonna move it up so that it first groups, it is first, sorts on group and then value. I'm gonna run it to see my results. You see here, so now it's on Asia, North America, and then split, and then it and then it arranges its values. And then when you apply the unique tool, uh, it won't do anything different because we're still telling it to only look at value. So it's still doing one, two, three, four, but the numbers are all out of whack. So what you do is you say, hey, look at value and group. And when you do this and you do leave unsorted, it should work. And does it, does it, does it? No, it doesn't. Um, leave unsorted, unique value. Um, why is it not sorted? Uh, group by, I think it's group by. There you go. Um, actually, do I need to do this then? Oh, huh, no, maybe, maybe not. Okay, yeah, so what you have to do is you have to tell it what to group it by. So um, in our case, if you want to group it by a country or a group, it doesn't make sense to do country because they're all unique, so you'd effectively be doing nothing. But if you were to do it by group and you tell it to do group, um, if you see here, now it's, it's ranking it by multiple columns now, if that's, that's your intent. And so, yeah, that is how you use the tile tool to rank a, a table of values. Um, you just use the unique value tile method, and you just have to tell it first, look at what number, and then if there's any additional groups, click on it here, okay? And that's it.